All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna go ahead and pick up from where we left off yesterday. Uh, I honestly forget what the next mission was, but it was doing a flashback for one of uh, Cole's times during the uh, Marriage Made in Heaven. Oh, so I guess we skipped the flashback. It was just like another flashback with Kelso or something. He just drove off. All right, gentlemen, I just got this handed to me. A hit and run felony at Ray's Cafe, 208 North Los Angeles. Got a patrolman on site. The coroner's on his way. Get down there. See if you can find any witnesses who can put a make on the car. What time is it? Why are they all in here at whatever time it is? I want to make homicide. You know you made it. Cases you have unlocked. Uh, right, I have to close this out. One day I will remember. Ah, oh, shoot. All right, if we just adjust the uh, display, then we should be fine. Hopefully. I don't know why it messes up like that. It's so weird. Oh, we have outfits too. Golden Boy, Roderick, Sharpshooter, Chicago Lightning, Sword of Justice. Let's go, uh, Chicago Lightning for now. I think this lipstick's too light for hey. my complexion. <laughs> he was in the hey. Kind of weird with the, uh, the center being a different color than the sleeves, but hey, whatever. I don't want to be rude, but I got time for uh, receiving hospital this way. Case got thrown out. Now the DA wants my head. Isn't that the technical services? Yo, what's going on, Noah? Long time no see. How you doing? Come on, you can Good morning. Go. Hello. Okay, can't do anything down here. All right, let's go back. Uh, wait, actually, technical services. Are you drunk, mister? Or are you just cracked? What? Am I allowed to come down here? All right, back upstairs. Uh, where's the exit? This way. Hey, I want you to drive. You know the way. You can drive. Looks like the DA is going to press charges. Anna Rodriguez might do time. I'll speak to the DA. She suffered enough. Mm, I don't know, Cole. She's an easy make, and the DA likes convictions. I'll convince him to let it go. <laughs> How do you do that? I'll give him something better. All right. Ray's Cafe. Yeah, so they're all in that room at 4 o'clock in the morning. Okay. Damn. Dude got wrecked on the road. Detectives, over here. Cole Phelps, traffic. What have we got? I can't believe that is a white male. this game would have Patterson been in 30 frames. It looks so much better in 60. And he ended up here, dead on impact by the look of it. Without and the widescreen the fix. The only one with anything useful to contribute is the young lady over there. She lives above the bar. Her name is Shannon Perry. No, it's not a stage name. 24 years old, she left Kansas to follow the yellow brick road. Is that <laughs> so? We'll take a formal statement later. Right now we're going to take a look around. All right. Check out the fella's hat. Anything on it? Is there anything like inside? Nothing? I don't see anything so far. He didn't say it wasn't weighted though. Well, landed on his face and ended up here. Car must have struck him from behind. 
better voice animation than most games. <laughs> True. Yeah, also, what's going on, Cardinal? The game stay or the uh, Twitch chat stays not being able to read your name. <laughs> Damn. Howdy, howdy. Sixteen thousand dollars. Madison has life insurance. The fuck. <laughs> I like the mystery. Yeah, I don't understand. It probably it looks like like it does on my other screen, but I don't know, man. I don't understand it. <laughs> Money. All right, so Lester Pattinson. weird he's not gonna pick anything up and like put it into like a little baggie for later or anything else uh i don't think What have you got on the victim? From all reports, he was intoxicated at the time of the accident. I'll know how intoxicated once I've done the autopsy. Looking him over now, I'd say he died on impact. What about the chest wound? Isn't that inconsistent? Very common in auto injuries. Look for a car with a prominent hood ornament. Those things are killers. Okay. Careful where you're stepping, Phelps. Sorry, come sorry. Back to the station house and tap dance on Body your desk. traveled a good 20 feet. <laughs> he walked right over the blood. Damn. Uh, what else did he want to look at? Oh, over here. This blood is a long way from the body. The car must have been going like a bat out of hell. And here's the tire mark. So the driver managed to brake before the impact. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Uh, we still have some. It's all yours, detective. Whoa, 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 whoa! I'm not ready yet. What's he trying to do? There's still some clues over here. At least something that I haven't figured out yet. Let me see if he has any ideas. Never the same, are they? Hey. Hey, tell me. Tell me what do you think? Witness Any statements ideas? next. We know we've got the girl as an eyeball, but we should check the bar as well. Do we have any? any? Show all clues. Uh, I mean, we have some points, but... Wait, it keeps saying like there's something like this way. Not just this hat, right? Wait, move it the other way again? Anything on it? I'm trying to see if there's like a name or like an icon or something. He doesn't say anything. Okay, maybe it's not the hat. Check the body one more time. You can only move it left and right. Okay. Pick his hand. Okay. Up in there. 
We saw the form. Okay. Check this side again. Check his wallet. Some money. Okay, okay. Check this arm again. Nothing that I can see. Is there anything on like his tie or whatever? Without going all the way down. Shirt pocket. Find anything interesting? I feel like it. Okay. I don't. Uh, sorry. Try not to walk over it. Trying not to walk over it. Sorry. You got anything? Do you know anything? Can we inspect this further? Nah. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Can we inspect the blood further? Nope. All right, what about the tire marks? Okay. I don't know, I'm half tempted to use one of those intuition points. Cause there's gotta be something. There has to be something that I'm missing. Otherwise the Oh wait, what is this? Oh, newspaper. Oh Yo. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Oh my god, he can't zoom in on it. It's hard to do on a mouse and keyboard. There you knife go. Covered in blood. It'd be a steak knife. This is a hit and run case, Phelps. Anyone could have thrown away a kitchen knife. In any case, we'll want tech services to scrub the alleyway before they bag the knife. Can we check the newspaper? That's still not all the clues. Wait. Anything back here? We can climb onto the roof. Let's check this out and see if there's anything up here. Saving. I feel like this would be a very odd place to have a roof that you can climb on to. I mean, <laughs> not an odd place to have a roof, but there's got to be a reasoning behind it, right? The music stopped playing, so I'm wondering if... Uh, Do we find all the clues? I doubt it. <laughs> Doesn't look like anything. What's your idea? What now? Witness statements next. We know we've got the girl as an eyeball, but we should check the bar as well. There's still something over here. I know it.
I don't want to use an intuition point for one clue, literally. Maybe it's in the alley. Ah, yes. Nothing significant. A clear bottle. Check this. Watch this be the last one. Courtney, come in. Have a seat. Thanks, Doctor. How are you finding working at the clinic? It's, uh, they love writing papers about this guy. Are you sure? Can I be honest with you, Doctor? I would hope so, Courtney. I was hoping that the therapy would be more beneficial. Treatment can, unfortunately, be very long-term. So many of the patients here are addicts, Doctor. Many of them have been for years, Courtney. In the past, these people were condemned to sanatoriums. We can reveal the root of the problem. Then we have a chance to help them. And until then, they stay sedated? Do I detect a hint of reproach, Courtney? I was expecting more, Doctor. I'm sorry. I don't mean to criticize. Part of being a physician, Courtney, is learning to be patient. How is it possible to keep so many of them on their medications, Doctor? Many of their addictions are illegal. Oh, many things in life are gray, Courtney. What may on the surface kind of reminds me of uh is actually a benefit to society at large. Crap, what's the guy from uh the actor? Shrink to the stars promises mental breakthrough. Watch that be all the clues. Nope. Was it? she T posing? <laughs> Ma'am, are you okay? Miss Perry? All right, yes. whatever. We'll talk to her. I'm Detective Phelps. This is my partner, Detective Bukowski. All right, let's see here. <clears throat> yeah, looks like her. Can you tell us what happened? Well, I came to the window because I heard people arguing downstairs. Lie. Then what happened? I saw a car hit that poor man and knock him down the street. <laughs> Suspect vehicle description. What kind of car was it? A dark red Lincoln Continental. She's obviously lying. Did you see the license plate? Only the first three letters, I'm afraid. Three C eight. <laughs> I saw a uh, thing yesterday that literally said like 20% of the questions are truth. Uh, like it was like 40% are uh, lies and then like the rest are doubt. So like it's like it was like 65 or something like that uh, percent were all doubts. Tell me more about the argument. So I'm going to try to doubt more today well, compared to yesterday. Voices. Man and a woman, that's all. Doubt. Why are you holding out on us, Miss Perry? I'm sorry. I was hoping to tell my story to the newspapers. I'd like <laughs> to get my picture in the paper. I'm trying to find work as an actress and things are pretty difficult. Cough it up, sister. We don't have all night. People arguing? 
they were husband and wife. I could tell by what. It's so weird they didn't do like a 4K it. version of this game very on PC. Full demand. Thank you, Miss Perry. Your information has been very helpful. You can go now. You really think so? I hope you find that driver and put him away. You certainly got away with the dames, Phelps. <laughs> Give it a rest, Bukowski. Let's see what the patrons have to say. I guess we'll just chat with him. I'm Detective Phelps of the LAPD. How can I help, Detective? Your name would be a good start. Dudley Lynch. Hired help. I run the place when the owner ain't around. Where Dudley is Dudley Lynch? He stepped out. Somebody had to take Lorna of Mrs. Patterson home. Uh Okay. Yep, it looks like him. What can you tell <laughs> me about the accident? Not a lot. It was busy in here, and all I heard was the impact. <laughs> Doubt. So what was he doing outside? It's against licensing regulations to drink on the sidewalk. Mr. and Lorna were having a fight. The owner made him take it outside. It was pretty ugly. Association with victim? The victim? Yeah. Lester Patterson. He's a regular here, or he was. <laughs> Truth. Not one of your favorite customers. <coughs> Lester was special, but not my kind of special. Was Lester drinking alone? No. He came here with his wife. She didn't seem too interested in the booze, though. A witness overheard an argument. Lester and Lorna. There's nothing like airing your dirty laundry in public, is there? Why was Lorna Patterson in such a hurry to leave? What is going on here? Lorna was pretty upset, so Leroy took her home. Lorna and Leroy are close. They've been talking about opening a new bar. Leroy. Leroy Sabo. Press X to doubt. The owner. <laughs> it's interesting because in the new game, or well, in the remastered for like Xbox and everything except for PC, they changed it to good cop, bad cop, and accuse. But they didn't update it for PC. How long have Lorna and Leroy been talking about this new bar? Who knows? I just served the drinks. Obviously, that's a doubt. Bartenders hear all sorts of things. Are you going to tell me, or do we have to start playing rough? <laughs> Unless he was drinking, he treated Lorna I can like see dirt. why it's bad cop. He gambled away all their money. <clears throat> Lorna pitched Leroy about the bar. I don't know how interested he is. Is Leroy doing well? <laughs> Hell no. The only thing keeping this place afloat are the poker games. Thanks for your help, Lynch. I'm going to need you to sign a statement with the patrolman. Sure, no problem. You get anything out of the regulars? <laughs> hey. They weren't giving too much away. They liked watching Lester and Lorna go a few rounds every other day. And Lester was a fan of the love tap. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. All right, let's check objectives. Investigate Ray's Cafe, call in suspect vehicle. Okay. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps badge 1247. 1247. How can I help, Detective? How can I help, Detective? I need to run a partial license plate, <laughs> 3 Charles 8. Cross Sounds like Siri. Lincoln owners. Suspect vehicle is a red Lincoln Continental. Just a moment, detective. Only one possible make on that license. Registered to a William Shelton, 738 West Temple Street. Thanks. Looks like we caught a break on this one.
I don't hear any more music playing. But I think technically we completed it. All right, let's have him drive. You're behind the wheel. So where you want to go? Uh, actually, hold up. Case objectives. Should we investigate Shelton first? Okay, yeah. You can drive. Uh, where are we going? Shelton Residence, 4.59 a.m. Ah, oh, there's the car. Okay, okay. They waited three hours. Oh, he's packing his bags. He's ready to go. Dude, your car's still That's covered in blood, right and it's banged up still. William Shelton? Yes. It doesn't look good, Shelton. You packing your bags and making a run for it? You know why we're here. Yes. The accident. We've got witnesses who can put this car at the scene, not to mention the physical damage. This is open and shut, Shelton. Oh, no. Good catch, though. That coward thinks uh -huh. he can run from everything. Ma'am, watch out. Oh, God. Oops. Get out the street. Everybody, games, take this guy out. I wonder if he killed someone driving like this. Lay into his wheel arches. Come on. Don't let that asshole get away. I'm not. I'm not. Chill, chill. That's it. Cuff them and we're done. Put your hands where I can see them. <laughs> How does a vehicular manslaughter rap sound, Shelton? I hit him. I admit it. I just panicked, but it wasn't my fault. What do you mean? The guy jumped right out in front of me. He came out of nowhere. There's nothing I could do about it. Why didn't you stop? I've had accidents before. That's it. We're done here. The DA is going to love you. They weren't all my fault. I'm a surveyor. I need my license for my job. There were people around. A woman and a man were standing right next to him. I thought they could get him to a hospital. I'm telling you, it's not my fault. The guy is dead, Shelton. You can't be serious. William Shelton, Bro, you're you hit him with your car. We need to talk about a manslaughter. I'm sorry, but if you hit somebody at that hard, <laughs> you gotta wait. stop you probably go at that point. Wife. Let her know what's happening. Okay. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. All right. It's a good thing right we went it. to him first, because otherwise, uh, Riley would have tried to escape. Uh, so the wife was there when it happened, but then left the scene. Right. That's pretty unusual behavior. She's trying to get paid shot. out. Sell some people strange things war. Oh God, that sounds so bad. Maybe she doesn't give a fuck. According to Mason, her old man. Why are we right boy. behind this thing? <laughs> you don't think, Phelps, the guy was run over. So it worked out well for this broad. So what? Maybe she deserved to catch a break. Who knows? We'll find out one way or another. Pattinson Residence, 8.57 a.m. We check around the house first.
What's going on, fellas? You guys know anything about this place? Okay, maybe not. No, okay, never, right, never mind. All right. Knock, knock. Yes, hello? This is Patterson. Is this about my husband? We're investigating the incident, ma'am. I see. Come in, won't you? Hmm. <laughs> Gonna do some searching real quick. Don't think this is anything. Help me out. Let's speak to the wife and get this over with. Hold on. We will in just a second. Relax. Oxidil leave murderers by that. Optimistic, hmm. Cole. Ah, she has knives out on the table. Ah, and two meals made. Why is there two meals? I don't think so. <laughs> Wait, actually though, why are there two meals? There's only one person in here. Can you tell me what happened? What's to tell? He got hit by a car and now he's dead. You don't appear to be too upset about the fact. Lester and I met on a furlough in 44. We got married that weekend. People don't understand it now, but that happened a lot back then. I see. So you probably did well to stick it out been like time. three years. What's that supposed to mean, mister? I think it's about time you left. I have someone here. I beg I... your pardon? You're going to have to run that one bias again, sister. It's okay, Lorna. I'm oh. Lord Sabo. Well, That's why there is two. Nice to see you're comforting the grieving widow, Mr. Sabo. All right, wise guy. Do you have any intelligent questions you would like me to answer? You can confirm Mrs. Patterson's story. Lester lost at cards. He was kind of hard to control when he lost his temper. He turned without looking and walked right out in front of the car. It wasn't good. What's your relationship with Mrs. Patterson, Mr. Sabo? We're friends. Good friends. You expect me to believe that? Look, I was filing for divorce. Mental cruelty. Lester could be a mean son of a bitch. And Lester knew about that? No. I hadn't told him. Well, hasn't this worked out well for the two of you? I feel almost bad for busting in on this little rendezvous. <laughs> Hit and run incident. All right, let's see. That's what How she looks normally. He walks straight into the path of an oncoming car. Obviously a lie. No. No. Doubt. Doubt. You expect me to believe that, Lorna? It's all very convenient. Gambling for Lester was like the needle for a hophead. He was yelling at me. He was yelling at the whole world. I kind of felt sorry for the driver. Poor guy had no chance. Nature of argument. You were arguing in the bar and on the sidewalk. We were always arguing. So what? Wait, view my notes. Uh, argument overheard. Witness report arguing prior to accident. Okay. What are you not saying? Admit it. You were baiting him, pushing his buttons. We can easily get the full story from the regulars in the bar. All right. Lester was playing cards out back. He lost, of course, and wanted back in. He suggested I earn the money on my back to get a mistake. That was the proposition he was putting to his so-called buddies. So maybe I was a little angrier than usual. Let's just say I took exception to his idea. Partnership with Leroy Sabo. The bartender said that you and Leroy were planning to go into business together. Can you explain how you'll get the money to do that? I have a little money saved away. Uh -huh. Doubt. Sabo oh, has no shit. money. This place can't be worth much. No! 
I know what I meant. Where is the money coming from? My father left me this house and some money. Lester took out a second mortgage. I held on to the money and kept my mouth shut. And that's all I'm going to say. Shit, we meant to accuse her for the... You and Mr. Sabo have an interesting day. I'm sure we will, officer. Now if you could both just leave. We're leaving, ma'am. Sorry for your loss. I forgot about... I can see what a tough time you're having with all this. Damn it. I meant to accuse her. I think that might have cost it right there. What's the objective now? Can you drive to this one? <laughs> Do Wait, we what? know where we're going? Where are we supposed to go? Wait, what? <laughs> the autopsy result might have come back. Call in. Oh, okay. You see the cop that you're talking about on the radio? What did I call it? Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? How can I help, Messages, Detective? Please. Just one detective from the coroner. Message reads, Phelps, see me at Central Morgue immediately. Results of the Patterson autopsy. Thanks for your help. Central Morgue. Alright. You can drive. Yeah, you can drive. And where exactly are we going? Central Morgue. Hollywood Post, number 43. 9.16 a.m. All right, so maybe the case isn't completely thrown away just yet. Hello, hello. This guy's got a screw loose. Oh, wait, this way. We can put the driver in front of a judge in less than a week. You'd be making a big mistake. Run that by me again? The victim was dead before the car hit him. Two puncture wounds to the right side of the thorax. Second puncture reached his heart. You're kidding me. Been doing this job 23 years, son. No one's ever laughed at one of my jokes. He was stabbed to death? Long, sharp knife. Length of and a they bayonet. thought that they wouldn't have figured that out. We found a knife in the alleyway. Where is it now? Was it bagged? By Patrolman Kaplan. Perfect. I'll get you a definite match. Jesus, we got him. Murder one. We were right there and they tried to stare us down. Now they'll both get the gas chamber. <laughs> we have the knife, we have the coroner's report, and I've been right. Sabo as a witness. Let's bring her in. Hey. Let's go. Doesn't make you a Christian any more than staying in the garage makes you a car. <laughs> That's funny. You know the way. You can drive. All right, back Fine. to the residence. Where are we headed? What? What do you mean? Why do they? They come back. They come back with where are we going? Every time. Like, bro, we know where we're going. We're literally going to arrest her. What do you mean? And 12 a.m. You've spoken to the coroner, Mrs. Patterson. He confirmed your husband's cause of death. We'd like you to come downtown and answer some questions. It wasn't me. It was Leroy's idea. Leroy stopped him. <laughs> I had nothing to do with it. Where is Leroy now? He's in the bedroom. You're very good, Lorna. Whoa. Put the gun down, Leroy. If you do something stupid now, you don't stand a chance in front of the grand nice jury. Nice of you to give me up, sweetheart. All that whispering in my ear telling me how we had to get rid of him, how good it could be, all the money we could claim, all that planning. 
how to get him into the street, how to make it look like an accident. For God's sake, you Leroy, all shut the up. You have covered, baby. I have nothing to do you with it. You think I'm going to fry for you, He's Lorna? He's a crazy man. Shoot him. Shoot him, for God's sake. Oh, God. Oh, God, I can't. Come on. Go, 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 go. He's like, all right, all right, all right, I won't get, I won't die today. Nice. So Wait. I give you a hit and run. You bring <laughs> me back fraud, conspiracy, and first degree murder. This is how a good detective operates, Phelps. You take nothing at face value. You keep digging and asking questions until you get to the truth. You got some sharp elbows on you, detective. I like that. Keep up the good <laughs> cool. work. I'm Yo, what's going on, Luxor? Excel. Nice. Not so hasty and golden boy. We missed one correct question, but we still got five stars. Oh, snap. That actually was not bad at all. That's pretty cool that you can still get five stars, even with, with one uh, question messed up. Slip of the tongue. Howdy. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Phelps, Kowski. B Cop says he located a green Kaiser Fraser from the hot sheet. Address is 6 West 2nd Street. Get over there and see what you can find out. Go on. Sorry to inconvenience you. All right, all right. We're, We're going. on it, We're Captain. Going. We're on it, Captain. Ah, uh, this I is LA, LA Noir. I played the the Mafia remake the other day, though. The we bring in, the longer the hot sheet gets. It pays the rent, though. It keeps Mrs. Phelps in the manner to which she's accustomed. I'm not sure she'd agree with you. Passionate romantic Let's type see. like you, Cole. Yeah. Yep, the Rockstar that. game. I didn't come to California to be a secretary. <laughs> You drive. We need to go over the case notes. Yeah, the case notes that we don't have yet. <laughs> Come on, man. You can do it. There you go. Hop in. They're calling her the Dahlia now. I wonder what Veronica Lake makes of that one. What a case. You hear whether they're making any progress? Well, Captain Donnelly seems to think they have it all wrapped up. Brown and Green are sweating this manly character. I heard it'll be in front of a grand jury by next week. Poor thing. Terrible enough being murdered like that without having to get screwed all over the front gate. Pacific Electric. Six West Second Street, twelve fifteen PM. Oh, Cutscene. That's the car, Cole. Just pulling out of the drive. Get him. Go, 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 go. Remember, we need him healthy enough to answer questions. 1247, Detective Phelps requesting immediate backup in pursuit of a stolen green Kaiser Fraser from 6 West 2nd Street. Not today, boy. Oh, God. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Oh, what the? He just turned like he was about to turn to the right. I mean, to the left. We ain't getting anywhere from there. Ha 
Maybe that was a couple miles over the speed limit. Give it up, LAPD. Yeah, sure. Why did you run from us? I saw a big car in my rearview mirror with two tough guys bearing down on me. What would you do? What's your name? Cliff Harrison. You're under arrest. For what? What are you talking about? Nice try. I this one's in uh <clears throat> You're out of your mind. The 1940s. The car, and I've got the paperwork to prove it. I believe it. right now at least. With Harrison. Looks like we'll have some questions Let's see. For people Yeah, right from 47. So, he did buy it. Right? Or no? <laughs> His car looks perfectly fine now. Ah, he's got some. He's looking a little suspicious there, man. Vehicle reported as stolen. You purchased this car from Coombs Automotive Company. Yeah, that's right. Truth. And the ownership papers? From the same place. If this is a forgery, it's top notch. This will need to be traced. Hmm. Okay. So he bought it. Yeah, the game's graphics are weird. Yeah, back in the day, this was like the the top-notch like motion capture you have a criminal record mr harrison no nothing like that uh doubt you better give us something cliff or we're gonna make this hard on you i didn't steal the car i ran because because i've got some wacky backy in the glove compartment how much cliff one reefer <laughs> we'll let it slide you're in enough trouble Vehicle purchase detail. Who did you deal with at Coombs Automotive? The owner, Richard Coombs. Richard Coombs. And he made out the bill of sale personally? Of course he did. He kept a facsimile for his records. Check with him. We're going to get to the bottom of this, Harrison. Not do, bad. You're going downtown. You gotta be kidding me! I'm getting arrested for buying a goddamn car. If everything is legit, Harrison, you'll be out soon. Until Oof. then, if I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut. Bag his possessions as evidence and have him arraigned for grand theft auto. Right, detective. Do you know who my father is? <laughs> we need to get to Coombs Auto and check out Harrison's story. I don't know, man. If everything checks out, then I feel like you're behind the wheel. <laughs> do we know where we're like, going? Like it's not like he stole the I don't know he had the paper saying that he didn't steal the car so I don't think he should have been arrested for proving it what I think he's telling the truth so yeah the you still had him arrested you though ever listen to are born liars. everything looks politics. suspicious he literally showed us the papers and we still arrested him <laughs> I mean that's accurate but still. Not another step. I have got a Buick Century sedan that would be absolutely perfect for you. Ah, uh, yeah, really? Detective Phelps, LAPD, are you the owner? That's right. Richard Coombs, at your service. You looking to trade in a black and white, boys? <laughs> Mr. Coombs. We're investigating an auto theft. A man by the name of Cliff Harrison yeah. claims... Yeah, what's going on, G-Man? Yeah, well, I definitely uh, would play it in VR. say that my cars are a steal. I have That's it in VR, but it's been so Very long amusing. since I played. I so I was like... It was a uh, I, I wanted to play it like this right. first. Do you have the bill of sale? It's Same in thing. my office. Yeah, literally. Walk this way. <laughs> That's a joke too, son. Nope. Do you mind if I shoot this guy? He's getting on my nerves. <laughs> Kurt Fuller. 
Which one? The, um... Here it is. Got this the guy? Pink slip there, too. Coombs. Gene Archer. 146 North Fremont Avenue. Investigate further. Marquee Printing Co. Okay. Okay. And then... Booms Automotive. 6 West 2nd Street. Receipt was legit, at least. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was legit, but we still had him arrested. <laughs> Poor guy. Uh No man. Anything else? We have a couple of questions. All right, fellas. Shoot. All right, fellas. First. Going to make any faces? You're as thick as a whale sandwich, aren't you, son? Yes. What Can does you that tell mean? us how you came to buy the car? Girl just wandered in right off the street. That looks truthful. Nothing unusual about the car. Not really my usual type of vehicle. The price was certainly right, though. Nice girl, but about as sharp as a bag of wet mice. Did you pay with check or cash? A check. She wanted it made out to cash, but I insisted. Man has to watch his cash flow. What name? I made it out to Gene Archer on the Bank of Arcadia. All right. Description of suspect. You describe this Gene Archer. Brunette, maybe 25, 26. Little on the plump side, but not bone ugly. Truth. What was your impression of her? Kind of harried and harassed, in a hurry to go somewhere, but no place to go. You get to know the type. Association with Mark. You know anything about the company that prints these pink slips? Nope. Should I? It isn't exactly my business. Truth. Uh, it's truth or doubt. Truth. It says Marquee okay. Printing. You've never heard of them? Marquee. Sure. They do all the government red tape. You'll find the place down on Aliso Street near San Pedro. Hey. Check payment details. When exactly did you hand over the check, Mr. Actor? Yeah, that's what I thought. Close of play on Friday. All of the um, the people that they did voice acting for, they use the actual actor as well for spitting image of him. Okay, yeah. Why does he look suspicious for this one? What was the question that we asked them? Crap, I forget what I asked them. I'm gonna use an intuition. Ask the community. Doubt, okay. Why didn't you pay her cash? You knew the car was dirty. I had an inkling. When people are in a hurry for money, always pay by check, son. Gives you a couple days to back out. Aha, suspicious this transaction. Above board. Yes, of course it was. <laughs> Doubt. Did this look legitimate to you, Coombs? I'm in used cars, son, not bearer bonds. In my business, you don't look a gift horse in the mouth. 
Now don't come on all high and mighty with me if you want my help. Thanks for your help, Mr. Hey, Jones. five out of five. Yo, you definitely Hope picked you up from yesterday. Mr. Harrison. So Go far. Easy on him, son. Boy's about as sharp as a bowling ball. He's built too low. The fastballs fly over his head. Let me shoot this guy, please. <laughs> Have a pleasant day, Mr. Combs. Mr. Combs. Well, Harrison might be off the hook, but we can still run an APB on Gene Archer. Get on the horn and call it in. All right, we'll do. All right, I'm I'm hopping on the horn. Hold on, one sec. Phelps, batch twelve forty-seven. How can I help, Detective? Detective? Requesting an APB on Gene Archer, age approximately twenty-five, on suspicion of grand theft auto. I'll relay the information. Are there any messages for me? A James Velasco is being held at Central Station on suspicion of GTA. Possible link to the Harrison case. They're waiting on you to conduct the interview. Thank you. All right. So, what's his idea? Let me see our case objectives. Uh, investigate Marquee Printing or interrogate James Velasco. What's your plan? see what do you think it sounds like james velasco was picked up the same as harris let's get down to central and hear his excuse okay you drive i need to go over the case notes wait so where you want to go what's this address oh investigate gene archer's address uh, da, 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 da. I think we should go investigate her address first. You can drive. All right. Where to? Because they already have the other guy sitting there. Yeah, let's go there. The finest in Here's a chicken and egg question for you. Do you think you have to be an asshole to sell cars? Or that selling cars turns you into an asshole? You've got it in for everyone today, haven't you? I've Whoa, that was an e illegal left turn right doing. there. And why do they always he just turn left in the right lane? Maybe the more annoying they are, the quicker you sign on the Why is that taxi so gold? Get the hell out of there. By dropping theirs and the president. Oh, wait. Richard Coombs. <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> 146 North Fremont Avenue. Empty. Should have known that Archer Broad would have given us a false address. Yep. Well, that just makes we it easy. Go to the station. See what this Belasco guy has to say. Can you drive to this one? Uh, where are we going? How about the printing company first? They have them there, so we might as well. Watch the printing company address is going to be empty too. Okay, never mind. 3.50 p.m. And what can I do for you, gentlemen? I'm a traffic detective from Central Division. Who's in charge here? I am, Gordon Lightfall. What's this about? We understand that your company prints California vehicle titles. Yes, I have the government contract to print pink slips. I've done for some years. Have you had any goods or equipment stolen recently? We're running up against stolen cars with seemingly legitimate paperwork. Not recently. Have you ruled out forgery? There's no shortage of talented artists in this town. All right, he looks super suspicious. So what next? Sounds like James Velasco was picked up the same as Harris. Let's get down to Central and hear his excuse. Phelps, leave him be. <laughs> Oops. 
You know the way. You can drive. I ain't, I ain't. And fine, where fine, exactly fine. are we going? At a central police station. Shit, hopefully we didn't spook this guy and he's like, ah, oh, shit, everything's about to come down on me now. I, didn't, I couldn't ask him any more questions, I guess. Central Police Station, 3.51 p.m. Detectives, Belasco is prepped and ready in two. Another stolen car with legit papers. Thanks. I want to make mm. a drive. You know you made it. Number two. Uh, interview room two, down here. There it is. Crummy bastard. Hold on one sec. I just want to move the AC. It's freezing. Okay, that should be good. James Belasco? I want a lawyer. It's my car and I got the proof right here. Take a look for yourself. The paper is real enough, Belasco, but the car isn't yours. This pink slip is a forgery. Oh, there's another. Marquee. Whoa, it wasn't fake. It wasn't signed on the back either. What is this? Transfer by owner, seller, reassignment to dealer. There's nothing filled out. Where were you taking the car, James? Blow it off, Greenhorn. You'll get nothing from me. Two time loser. If you don't give me something, I'm gonna have two to time. the maximum. You're loser. Looking at Ten years, Belasco. Kiss your youth goodbye. I, I want a deal. Keep talking and we'll see what sort of deal you're worth. My job is to drive the cars out of state. Nevada, Arizona, sometimes New Mexico. With the paperwork they provide, it's normally a breeze. Oh snap. We got him. Does the name Jean Archer mean anything to you? Nope. Never heard of her. Doubt. Shit. You want my partner here to convince you that you do know her? I'm giving you the straight dope. I don't know no Jean Archer. Wait. Oh, shit. What happens to the cars once they cross over the state lines? I don't know. I just deliver them. Doubt. Give me something, Velasco, or I'll take you back to the cells and tell the whole station you're a child molester. How long do you think you'll last? Okay, okay. Whoa. I hear you. The cars get sold in Chicago or back east. Sometimes I bring back cars coming the other way. Where do you pick up the cars, Velasco? Warehouses. Mainly in the east downtown. You can do... Pink Slip, Velasco, 144. 146 North Fremont Avenue. That's this address. You're lying, Belasco. You steal the cars yourself and then provide them to the ring. I'd like to see you prove that, copper. I'm strictly Fuck. a wheel man. I know nothing about cars except how to drive them. I don't want to answer any more dumb questions. 
You had a chance to cooperate, Velasco. See you in ten years when you get out. You're Phelps, right? Yes, I am. Look, can we do this later? I'm in the middle of it. Ray Pinker. I'm with Technical Services. The pink slips are all real. Yes, we know that. There's only one company that prints them in California, the Marquee Printing Company. They've confirmed that the numbers are legitimate. You've checked them out? Sure. They're on Aliso Street, near the corner of San Pedro. The guy I spoke to was Lightball. Gordon Lightball. Here, I wrote it down. Yeah, we spoke to him for a second, Thanks, but we didn't ask him any questions. Heat. We'll get down there as soon as we can. I'm stumped. Ideas? The lead on the pink slips might not have legs, Phelps. Phelps, you should give it a your chance. GTA suspect, Gene Archer, Back to spotted by a patrolman. Western Union office, 253 South Hill. Less than a minute away down the street if you run. Go! She won't hang around. Oh, snap. Go, 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 go. I'll drive for this one. Come on! We don't want to lose her! Eastern Union office, 4 p.m. I walked right through me. We all switch outfits again. Chicago Lightning, Sword of Justice, Golden Boy, Derek, Sharpshooter. I'm gonna change to this one. What is taking so god? I think LAPD. I read about we'll take it from newspaper. here. God damn it! Everyone's against me. Look, just let me get my money and get out of here, okay? Whoa. You look sweet. How about giving a girl a break? I could be very nice. I'm afraid I can't do that, Miss Archer. Stefan, call for black and white. Just my luck to get the only hair sure cop in the LAPD. The car you sold to Coombs was stolen, Miss Archer. There won't be any money. I handed over all the right paperwork when I sold it, Buster. She's telling the truth, it looks like. I'm gonna use intuition. Doubt. Okay, never mind. Doubt. Gene, you've blown open the whole operation because you were dumb enough to try to sell one of the cars. <laughs> never mind, she's not telling the truth. <laughs> Give me something. I was just doing what they do. They pay me 50 bucks to drive the car. I made two grand selling it. You made zero. And if they catch you, you're dead. Is that all your life's worth? Look, a girl needs things. I don't see you looking out for me. Association with Belasco. How long have you and Belasco been delivering cars? Who is James Belasco? Why? You're lying. James Belasco. I don't remember mentioning his first name, Miss Archer. Oh, I... Well, I think you did, didn't you? Well, I'm sure of it. Anyway, I don't know him. Shit, I don't know which evidence to use. Do I use Alaska's ownership papers or stolen auto courier? It's either Belasco's ownership papers or stolen auto courier, I think. Or this one. Can we just get this over with? Dude, I don't know which one. Why can't I select all three and be like, well, here's X, Y, Z. Here's Y. <laughs> Not just one. I... Uh... All right. That was the right one. 
You and James Belasco share the same address on your pink slips. We have him in a cell. Okay, so I know the creep. The pink slips are real. The home addresses are always vacant lots. Bigelow is always boasting that the paperwork is legit and that if we stick to our stories... And don't try and sell the car? Yeah, that too. Stolen auto courier. Tell me where you picked up the car, Miss Archer. Look, I, I can't remember. Let me go, will you? Please. What have I got to do? I'm trying my patience here, Gene. I'll have the reporters down here and have your picture in all the papers. You'll have nowhere to run. All right, already. I get the message. I pick up the cars from a guy named Bigelow. 58 Industrial Street. Big warehouse full of goons. Now, you've got what you want. Can I go? Please? No, you sure can. We've got a car waiting outside for you. Some career advice, Gene. Get out of crime. Marry someone boring who has money and will find you captivating. Is this guy for real? He takes a little getting used to, <laughs> but yeah, he generally means what he says. Got her. Guy sounds like he was listening to the Ice Cream Man song. <laughs> Whoa. You can drive. So where do you want to go? Uh, wait. Face objectives. Investigate. So we can go back to Marquee. What do you think? I'm at a loss. The lead on the pink slips might not have legs, Phelps. We should give it a chance. Back to Marquee. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. All right, let's do it. Fine. Where are we headed? Girl. Used to getting her own way. Little did she know her feminine charms were useless against the impenetrable Cole Phelps. She's not my type. And what is your type, Phelps? I'm married. I know that. But you're not blind or dead inside, are you? Wait, scrap that second half of the question. Uh, I don't know. Blondes, I guess. Hallelujah! The man is human after all. Now we're getting some. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you on the blondes. Brunettes are fine too. Nothing wrong with a good redhead. <laughs> but I draw the line of grab. You know what? I might have to lift that embargo soon in the interest of maintaining a food market. A man with high standards. The standards are only as high as the last glass of whiskey. Interesting fellas. Alright, so here we are once again. Hey, we're back. We have some questions for you, Mr. Lightball. Knowledge of theft racket. Mr. Lightball, we're currently working two auto theft cases. Do you know anything about a car theft ring? Uh, certainly not. Why would I get mixed up in a thing like that? It's either doubt or lie. Doubt. We have suspects with legitimate pink slips that were printed here, Lightfall. You better give me something before I bring the whole department down here. Don't be hysterical, detective. As a matter of fact, we had a similar problem a couple of years ago. A number of used car lots were selling blank documents to a criminal organization. Pink slips so Do the names supply. Cliff Harrison and James Belasco mean anything to you? No, they do not. What's well, at least doubt? Uh, let's lie. You sure about that, Mr. Lightball? You sure you've never heard of them? Are you making an accusation, young man? Do you have any kind of proof?
Sorry. My mistake. Harrison bought his car from Coombs. The pink slip looks good, and that points the finger here. Do you have any employee trouble? No, I don't. They've all been carefully screened. Look, now that I think about it, the name Coombs sounds familiar. I think they may have been involved in stolen documents in the past. Okay. Do you have a delivery ledger, Mr. Lightball? We would like to cross-check against the Coombs Automotive Emporium. It's a little out of the ordinary, Detective. Uh, I'm not sure I can share those sorts of records. Out. Hand it over, Lightball. You don't want us having bad thoughts about you, do you? Very well. But this really is irregular. Over here. <laughs> hey. Look for patterns, recurring names, unusual addresses, anything out of the ordinary. Bigelow. You certainly encourage repeat business, Lightball. This Mr. Bigelow is a good customer. <laughs> That's Sorry it. To bother you, sir. We'll let you know if there are any developments. Wait, what do you want to look at for a second? Anything else in here? It's a lot of Bigelow. All right, time to get there. You're behind the wheel. <laughs> Do we know where we're going? 58 Industrial Street. For 40 p.m. You Marines were gung ho, Cole. You have a 45. Don't you ever want to use it? I'll take the back. Just give me a few seconds to get around there. <laughs> Thought I was about to be. All right, time Cole to move Phelps, up. LAPD. All of you are coming downtown with me. So loud. Let's clear the top floor. I don't want to get drilled in the back on the way out. How long do you think you can hold out? Door at the end. I heard something. All right, all right, don't shoot. Keep your hands up. Watch him, Bukowski. He doesn't move until I've tossed this place. <laughs> hey, look at that. There are enough slips here to keep them stealing cars till Christmas.
Marquis Printing Company. <laughs> There's nothing like going direct to the source. Nice. Gordon's name on it. Betting slip. Looks like Mr. Lightfall has been on a losing streak. Oof. We've got a trail of pink slips and stolen cars that leads right to your door, <laughs> Bigelow. You're in this up to your neck, but I don't think you're the man in charge. Make it easier on yourself. Give him up. I had to work on cars for customers. You charge in here shooting up the place like it's the Ballad of Bulge. I can't give you anything. All right, so what about that pink you know about supply? You can make this easier on yourself by giving us your man on the inside. I sometimes repair cars and put them back on the road. I need a pink slip to resell them. There's no problem there. Uh, as the community. Uh, it's doubt. There are at least four dead men in this warehouse. A couple more. Punks won't make for that much extra paperwork. You'd be doing the legal system a favor. Okay, okay, tough guy. I get the message. Okay, okay, tough like guy. That. The guy <laughs> runs Marquis. He's the big shot. He likes to spend big at the track. He owes people. Association with Lightball. Lightball. The guy with no luck at the track. Tell me about him. It's one of the guys lying over there. You're right. He has no luck. What? He's lying. Oh no. That's the best lie you can come up with, Bigelow? Hey, would I lie to you, detective? I'm not exactly in a good position here now, am I? We he literally went and spoke with him. Sorry. Sometimes you have to shake the tree to see what falls out. Uh, yeah, doubt. So Fuck, if I go it was there lying. Check his jacket. Your story's gonna ring true. I'm warning you, Bigelow. Give it a try, Flatfoot. For some reason, none of my guys like to bring ID to work. Whether you give up your bosses or not, Bigelow, you're going away for as long as I can put you there. We'll see. I didn't fire a shot, copper. I just watched you tear my place up. I don't know what evidence I was supposed to use to, to call him out on. I didn't have like a sure shot of light bulb, but obviously he's the, uh, the big man out of all this. Can you drive to this one? We've gone to a shop uh, three times now. <laughs> if I was this man, I would have been long gone by now. I would have been like, no, we out. <laughs> what a mess. Uh, gonna take some cleaning up, that's for sure. I wish it hadn't gone that way. Well, they shouldn't bring guns to work with them. We didn't have a lot of choice. You have to admire the barefaced cheek of someone who tries to blow your brains out one minute and then pleads innocence the next. Yeah, especially when he's surrounded by evidence. But guys like Bigelow spend so much time convincing themselves that they're not doing anything wrong that they actually start to believe their own bullshit. They get sloppy. Bigelow, Lightball, all of them. If they hadn't, who knows how long they could have kept this racket going. Complacency or greed. It's always one of the two that brings them down. There it is. You're under arrest. You again? 
This harassment is starting to wear thin. We found a box of pink slips in a warehouse full of hot cars. You signed for them, Lightbulb. I signed for all the orders and deliveries. You'll need something better than that, cowboy. Save it, Lightball. We already have all we need to send you down. I've had enough of this. You either produce some shred of proof, or I call my attorney. Oh, the gambling bets. Debts. Shit, I don't know if it's the gambling debts, or... Delivery to Stephen Bigelow, signed off by Gordon Levitt, betting slips, or gambling debts. Gambling debts. You're in the hole with the organization. There we go. We know about the debts, Lightfall. I agree. I have a small problem. I'm prepared to help you in any way I can, Detective. I'll name names. Uh, I need you to keep this out of the paper. I need... You need to shut up now, Lightfall. Gordon Lightball, I'm charging you with conspiracy and fraud. Hands behind your back. Oof. The LAPD Central Traffic Division has today smashed a nationwide auto theft ring, writes crime correspondent, blah, blah, blah. Oh, here it is. Traffic squad detectives confronted a large group of armed thugs. After an exchange of gunfire, more than a dozen dead criminals were removed from the scene. The LAPD sustained no casualties. Damn fine work, Phelps. Now get out there and nail some more bad guys, will you? I want to finish reading this. Got him. Printer's Devil. 18 out of 21 questions correct. Bela might be a, a hood, but he had the dirt on light ball and would have flipped if encouraged. Damn. Choosing the correct, uh, the correct stuff My family to runs a shipping business in San Francisco. accuse somebody is like the hardest part at times. a week to Tokyo. We've been in shipping for two generations, Hank. I've never been on a voyage anywhere. I feel like Odysseus in the beginning of his journey. The Odyssey took ten years, Cole. This is the American century. America can rule the world after we win this war. We need to stay alive, Cole. These men are counting on us. You're what the veterans are saying to each other? No. Golden Gate in 48. That's four more hard years of fighting. All in idle. All right, hold on one second, chat. I'm going to take a quick break, run to the bathroom, fill up my drink, and then we'll continue. So, BRB.